Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we solve your complications. I'm Harry and I'm joined by my wonderful friends Ravs and hello, Lydia. Hello, hello. Hello. How are we doing? Doing Very real good. Doing we real just good. did a big catch-up episode. We did. Oh we my did. god, big stories. I hope you all enjoyed our wonderful yeah. catch-up episode. We didn't get to catch get to the question, but it was very nice to hear about what had been happening. Yeah. Mainly about David Hayes. We didn't I mean, even yeah. talk about Christmas or New Year, really. But it's kind of not relevant, to be honest. It's not relevant anymore. It doesn't really matter. Same no. old, same old. Same nice old. Happens went every home, bloody year, went you know. Home, had a good time, whatever. You whatever. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jingle Jam was lovely, though. We hope oh, you yeah. did enjoy Jingle Jam. Jingle Jam was good shit. Lovely. Um, it feels mm-hmm. like next Jingle Jam is already coming around thick and fast. Oh, my God. It's around the corner. It really fucking is, Lydia. It really is. It really is. It'll be really good. It'll be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it. We're not. We're not stinky we're just like you know it's january we're not putting out any episodes until february so you're listening to this in february yeah we're just like bulk recording mm-hmm. in the, oh the, because the we're office. wearing the exact same we're clothes wearing the, <laughs> we're wearing the same fit we're not stinky nerds getting lots of podcasts and done. also we didn't answer any of these fucking questions we i know pages so upon pages yeah. of loads of lovely questions yes. loads of them yeah. from our so, patients you know, as well we're just hitting you with with the question episode pretty much it's what people want yeah, yeah. they it's say they want it and then they, they and then it. everyone else says we want the fucking update episode so <laughs> exactly. i don't really know what they want yeah we'll never be happy bit of both bit of both yeah should we hop straight into a question let's jump straight in go on do it. Yes. It's question time. Okay, this is a, a long question. Is this the whole page? This is a whole page. No, I, did, I, I will say, I saw this long one. Mm-hmm. I gave it a skim read. I was going to exclude it because of how long it is. Mm-hmm. I do believe it is from a patron. So thank mm-hmm. you, wonderful thank patrons. You, thank you, it. patrons. But oh my God, please do not send in whole A4 sides. I realise yeah. the story is long. Mm-hmm. It probably could have been like two paragraphs less. I think they've embellished it and made it kind of juicy for us. You and know, we've got backstory, wonderful. we've got lore, that's we've wonderful. got, you know, characters that have been fully fleshed out. It's more, it makes it very hard to check all the <laughs> questions if all of them are an A4 side long. Yeah, right. Um, Harry can only read two sentences. I can't you, read. You can't <laughs> go any further than that. You guys know this. You know, you know my attention span is nothing. Um, my But this one so. looks good. Okay, all right. Hello, lovely Bidia, Barry and Babs. I'm writing to supply a piss-packed story and oh, some questions for you. Sake. First question of the year. It's piss-packed. I am currently a soonish to be degree haver, and I'm in my final year of university. I don't mind talking so posh. I think I'm doing my like, oh, like my it. like presenting Your voice. Your newsreader voice. Yeah, it's good. I play quite a couple of different sports at uni, with rowing being one of them. Our college rowing club, as my university is split into colleges, mm. often hosts socials with the usual stuff. Say such as drinking games and costumes, etc. I must preface this by saying it's a lovely club and college and I've never seen or heard any of the appalling and humiliating rituals like initiations that you sometimes hear of. Mm. There's a big focus on things being comfortable and fun for everyone. Our first full club social of the year was just a few weeks ago, held in someone's house. I wasn't actually there, but got these messages that night in our club group chat. Number one. Guys, we have to stop pissing in people's houses if we want socials to carry on. Number two, seriously not impressed. Number three, angry emojis. Oh my God. I thought it was hilarious, especially with the wording of the first message. And I wondered what had actually gone down. And if the poor soul who had their house pissed in was okay. Was this a piss explosion? An accident? It turns out that there was a broken fridge in the back garden and everyone was told to do not touch or piss in the fridge. I guess the Tory boat wankers saw this as a challenge and the blokes just started using it as a piss fridge to the extent to where it was just covered and filled with manky alcohol piss. While disgusted and a bit amused, I'm not surprised as this has not been the first piss accident our club has had just in the last year. Luckily, it was outside this time. Oh my God, what happened before? And as to the regular piss social segment that the blokes have, where they pile into the bathroom at whatever bar or house we're in, yell piss social a bunch, and I guess say a speech and all go piss. I'm not sure. What? I'm what not. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not a guy and I don't think I ever want to know what goes on in there. Similarly, similarly, as someone who can't drink for health reasons but still loves a good night out, I regularly see a lot of mad things when sober that drunk people don't Mm. notice. 
To make things worse, I think this was a tied social, where basically you get duct taped at the wrist to one or two others for the night to do challenges. And I really can't get rid of the image of a bunch of lanky rowers all pissing into a fridge whilst literally arm in arm. I still have to row with these people. So my question to you, have you ever seen anything like this happen, especially when you were at uni going age? Any wild, spontaneous or pissy night out sightings? As a student, I've come to accept these crazy and disgusting things as pretty normal to come across, if not a bit culty. But from an outsider perspective, is this normal? Or am I now desensitized, just stuck with a bunch of fridge pissing, urine celebrating, deranged students who are slowly turning boat clubs into piss clubs? Love the podcast. Thanks for keeping me smiling through all the all nighters and essay procrastination. Much love. That's a lot to unpack. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Even though it's long, I do love yeah. the way they wrote it. No, like, it's I was very it was invested. Written with a good cadence. I was yeah, invested. It's wonderfully written. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Okay. Where to start? Are you in a pest fetish club? As well? Yeah, I'm I feel starting. like are you in the right kind of club. What yeah. is this? Is what rowing? Is, this is does, does rowing mean something very different? Oh my god! Ro- oh, rowing. Rowing. Yeah, yeah. Wink, yeah, wink. yeah. Rowing. Going downstream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, okay. What well, the bit that I kind of struggled to read out because I was so aghast at what was happening was that they have the. The piss thing that they do. In the they, toilet. They, they go, go the into the t- toilet together. They all shout out piss social and they all piss together and do oh, speeches. Fuck. I mean, I think that's whatever. You know, I think that's that. I actually feel like that was the least harmful bit of all just, of it. I mean, it's not harmful. It's just quite strange, isn't it? It is quite strange. <laughs> I mean, it's funny because they, preface, they prefaced a lot of it by being like, we're not like all of these social clubs and then go yeah. on for the rest of the message to basically <laughs> describe everything that I was expecting <laughs> those clubs to be doing. Yeah. You we, know, Stupid challenges together, pissing on people and fucking that, whatever. Yeah, that sounds crazy. The pest fridge is unhinged. Oh, that's just... Shit. I do feel... Oh, my God. Imagine if that's your your fridge I, and it's full of manky alcohol piss. I, I think the piss fridge is way too far and not funny. Yeah, it's not no, funny. that's gross. Very, someone has to clean that up. Yeah. Someone has to clean it up, but also I feel like pissing on something, there's something very disrespectful. Oh, my God. Like innately, like corny yeah. disrespectful. Degrading about, like, and disrespectful. It is. It's like yeah. really horrible to piss on something yeah. or somebody. Like it's not... Mm. It's such a show of disrespect. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I think that's like really fucked up. Yeah. Why the people who did that should be kicked out of the club? I think, I think so. so. Yeah. Absolutely. Get rid like, of them. I that's say that's the terrible representation mm. of the club. I won't lie. Is the it, whole thing it, like, sounds a toffee thing. The, the whole thing's well. The fact they're in a, co- a, a university of colleges. It sounded British to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very definitely. British. And definitely. the fact that it's British makes, makes it sound like it's an Oxford or Cambridge. And it, well, it says a uh, Tory. Posh. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely British. Posh, tough it's stuff, definitely yeah. Cambridge or Oxford. In which case, I'm just saying, like, oh my god, how many. How many wankers are there? Yeah. Oh, my God. I loved the first uh, text they got. Guys, we have to stop pissing in people's houses if we want socials to carry on. I'm really confused because I was like, wait, you're not allowed to use yeah, the yeah, toilet? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a weirdly phrased Yeah, line. like surely, but Unless everyone must relieve like themselves. Unless they're just on the wall or something. Oh, like. just really I mean, it was bad. also strange to say, don't yeah. piss on the fridge. Mm-hmm. I do feel like the person who was hosting the house party asked them to that, do it. That's basically like an invite. That no, point. I I think that they could see that that was something they were going to do and said, please just don't do that. No, I, I feel like you've called attention to it and you, yeah. I'm not saying it excuses it. I'm saying it was a bad move. Put a decoy in, like, please don't piss in the kettle. You know what I mean? What, and then you, you put a kettle yeah, out yeah, at the yeah, back yeah, next yeah. to the fridge? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your decoy pissed yeah, off. Yeah, I feel like you've seeded it in the drunk mm-hmm. people's brains. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's something I would do if I knew that all these people are prolific piss people. Opposite. You say, please don't store your beer in the fridge. And they're all going to go put their beer in the fridge. You set the, you set the fridge up for something else. I Some other drunk. Pissed, they still would have pissed in No, as you mentioned they the fridge, still, it's going to piss then. But no. even if you didn't mention it, they were going to piss in that fridge. That piss was destined to be in the fridge. Yeah. Around. That fridge was destined to be pissed in. Yeah. Have you, have you guys ever seen any piss related antics then? Yep. Yeah. Oh, many wow. House, I was many, like, let me think. Many Rather house sh- parties. Many. Really? Yeah. Can you walk us through all of them? Um, I had that house party where someone actually did piss in the kettle. Yeah. Uh, and didn't tell anyone. And then the next day, someone went to make a cup of tea and it was piss. <sighs> that, is that, was, fucking, that is That also probably ruins your kettle. It probably ruins oh my God, you'd have to chuck yeah, it away. Can you imagine? Because you would crystallize, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even if doesn't yeah, crystallize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you ever have a cup of tea from that again no. and not feel vile? No. You would have to throw that away. Yeah. I would not keep that kettle. No. Yeah. Even At least if it, was... it would be like sanitary because it would boil mm. all the germs With a dirty man's alcohol piss. Yeah, it was Ugh. fucking vile. I, 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 I didn't see him do it, but I heard about it. The that, next is, day. That, is, that is fucking disgusting. That is disgusting. He is mm-hmm. a prick. I feel mm-hmm. angry against this man. Who mm-hmm. is he? I'm going to fuck him up. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't want to say his name. Okay, I'm, <laughs> so, I'm not really. Don't. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just don't re- come for me, piss man. <laughs> just don't, please don't piss in my kettle. Yeah. It's That's new. Pretty, it's so disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, but how old were you? Not that um, this forgives it, but this maybe was like this was like eighteen. Okay, I think the point. Yeah. Also, I'm saying this as a v- close to 35 year old mm-hmm. woman, so I'm like, that's mm-hmm. vile. But I guess as 18 year olds, you might be more yeah. like, oh, it's very really funny. I feel like there was a lot of weird pissy antics when we were like 16, 17, yeah. getting drunk yeah. at house parties. But People, I exactly. Yeah, like, it's house very party different. culture in the UK was mad. Like, it's awful. I, I, the, wor- the worst thing I ever saw was I was at the pub, and I think it was just me and Tom. Mm-hmm. I remember just seeing a man stand up and go to. He was so drunk, he was like asleep on the bench. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is very late at night in Bristol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, sleep on a bench down from where we were he stood up and he started just pissing you know he took his trousers out he just dropped Jesus trowel Christ. started pissing <laughs> and just then, there we're not against the wall just not against the wall just started pissing there. and we were like that's pretty f-. you know one his bum is out he's done like the toddler yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I'm pissing I yeah, take yeah. my trousers all, all the down, way down right? Dude, I've Two, always he started, wanted to do that in a he started able. just shitting <gasps> oh, being caught into his underwear no, <laughs> no! <laughs> at that point I was like I was like, we, we were going to like, stop, you know, like, is he all right? You know, at that point, I'm not going anywhere near this like shit baby. Oh. Yeah, so he's shitting Christ. into his like Jesus. pulled down trousers, underwear combo. No. The piss is like, I don't know, probably splashing back. I can't really see. It's quite dark. <laughs> But shit is just dropping. He finishes pissing, <laughs> then just pulls up his, <laughs> his trousers and then just walks off. No. And it's hands down the most no. unhinged thing I've ever no. seen. In my life. No. 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 So I don't know whether he thought he wasn't shitting. He, he thought he was shitting but was missing. I don't know if he pulled up his trousers and was like, this is fine. He was probably just <laughs> so fucking drunk. Probably, he didn't I, know what he I was doing. I really hope he was so drunk he had no idea what he was doing. Yeah. And probably woke up the next morning like, why am I covered in shit? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's um, a, that's I must have a shat bad myself. wake up call though. Oh. It was pretty gross to watch, honestly. But also yeah. one of those things where, like, it was very hard to not look mm. at it. <laughs> <laughs> like, <gasps> it's such a weird thing to yeah. see in the wild. Like, oh, you don't usually see someone but just shitting how, them. House parties also used to have such weird fucking shit as well. Like, uh, this isn't a piss one, but I just remember like at a house party. This guy, I thought the guy was a bit of a knob, but mm. people thought it was a house party. And people like ruined his mum's washing machine. They like opened up, they, like, up. they opened up like the, the laundry detergent bit and put like ketchup and oh. fucking weird shit on there. I don't know why this makes me yeah. so irrationary, mm-hmm. it, it, irrationally it really annoys angry. Me. I, was like, I was like, what the fuck? Like the, fucking yeah. up someone's kettle, fucking mm. up someone's washing machine. This is creating a new sense of anger yeah. in me what, that I didn't know existed. Fear of, like, like having fuck children. Up. Like, are they gonna fuck up the house? Like. I've I've always hated having a party. I hate hosting yeah. stuff. And like I, the one time it did happen, um, like at my place, uh, my sister like threw a party at my parents' place. Someone brought a frog in a bag, oh, like, an actual frog. I was like, what the frog? I know. I was like, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? Up. I think yeah. it's the thing that makes me so angry about the the stories with the kettle and the washing machine, as it's it's not theirs. Yum. It's someone else's. It's that mum's expensive property mm-hmm. to, ha- to do it for a joke yeah, a to be so they are hundreds of pounds mm-hmm. to be so disrespectful to someone else yeah. i just think that's i don't care how Honestly, old you are if that happened in my house my mum would sit me down and be like who did it yeah because i'm going around my mum would go fucking i'm going around yeah, yeah. to their Nuts. house and i'm going to ask their yeah, parents yeah, yeah. for yeah. the money to pay up buy a new one a hundred percent like there's just, no there's no discussion here like who did it yeah like yeah. You, you don't get a pass just because you're 18 no like no. you are grown enough to know that you just don't 18 do you're that. literally an adult you're like, an adult like yeah. you you should know it's better done. not to fuck up other it's people's stuff the police, like, yeah yeah it makes me so annoyed it's very annoying it's just so disrespectful yeah yeah like fuck up your friendship yeah fuck up your own stuff like yeah People just had no fucking regard for people's property and stuff. No. So, yeah. Just just disgraceful. Mm. That is fucked up. You guys got any weird piss stories? I mean, like, it, no. it's a weird one. Like, you know, me and Tom have a little piss thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, well, we, we just, it's not anything weird, but we just bump into each other when we're at the urinals. I mean, me and Tom yeah. used to do sword yeah. fighting. Mm-hmm. Oh, when yeah. We, at, the, at the pub we used to drink at, there used mm. to only be one cubicle for men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's yeah. no urinals. Mm-hmm. So we would just go in there together yeah. and just do the... um lightsaber dueling with oh this. really okay. da, 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 da. see <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I thought sword fighting was when the penises actually like no like fought. lightsaber no, no, dueling no, no. Like no with penis. the piss yeah yeah, yeah, right. yeah I thought you meant you no, and no, no, Tom no. so like, 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 like your penis together. is like the hilt of a lightsaber yeah yeah, yeah. Nice. and you're both like Luke Skywalker oh, with the yeah, green yeah. and you're like and you're fighting nice right okay but that's only when we're very drunk and that hasn't happened in quite a long time now I do miss those times Tom if you listen to this we should go back yeah me and Tom just bump into each other to like nice. make, make you go like, oh, oh. 
Well, it's just this kind of boring, yeah. you know, five minute ritual yeah. you have to do every mm-hmm. fucking couple hours when you're out drinking. So exactly. you might as well, yeah, add, might as well add some joy get... to it. But also, sorry, it... girls literally go to the bathroom together and make an entire fucking. Experience. You guys have must have some shit going on there. Like, sorry, you can't be like, oh, boys are doing weird piss. I'm basketball hooping. Yeah. Like. I uh, I was about to say that like I guess it's different because you know when when we pee it's like in a cubicle it's a very solitary thing. However, when girls are drunk, you absolutely when go you're having a conversation, yeah, you yeah. go in the cubicle and you carry on the conversation whilst you're pissing. I don't know why that's a thing that happens. Why is drunk. that a thing? It's so weird. I don't know. I don't really. Because what don't... happens if you start shitting? I guess you, that just doesn't happen. You no, just but what, know that you're not going to. But like sometimes you're drunk enough, like you're sat on the toilet and you're not just like, well, I was going to shit as well. That's never happened to me. No? No? I've never just been like, whoa, I'm shitting. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like would know that that was about like taking place. So and you'd be like, don't continue this conversation. I, I'm going to go yeah, for shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't just be like, whoa. So is that, so apparently the shit, is a, is, that's a step too far. Yes. Why? I don't want to, why would you shit in front of each other? But like you're pissing in front of each other, like well, sat shit's down. shit's the next level up. But well, there's an order and stuff in that. Stinky, stinky and gross. Yeah, but I just, Plus it I just mean, doesn't sound good. Does it? Mechanically, <laughs> mechanically though, like, you know, there's no reason, you're not doing anything different. Okay, the smell. Surely that's enough reason. That's not enough to be, reason. Okay, that's yeah. an argument. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the toilet is filled with bad smells anyway. Most of these fucking yeah. old, like, club <laughs> and pub toilets are fucking horrible. The idea mm-hmm. that going in there, like, your friend takes a shit <laughs> and just, like, nonchalantly just continue your conversation <laughs> it's so weird i think it's kind of based i, honestly. I, I, would I say think we need to move past <laughs> poo being, we're no longer 12 mm-hmm. like poo is not scary yeah. it's right i'm scared of it i am um, i don't really tend to the pee with each other thing i don't really do that anymore i feel like why did you have a bad experience I did, well i started <laughs> I shitting, started shitting. <laughs> um no i uh i think you reach an age maybe and you'll just sort of stop doing that definitely in my 20s mm, i yeah. would prolifically piss pee with friends it's, no, it's not like you know your mum and drunk your, your mum and your grandma not just normal pee. your mum yeah. and your grandma aren't like you know just out for a lovely pub lunch and like I'm going to the toilet do you want to come, 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 come with me <laughs> yeah, no. do you like, want to come ladies mum why don't you and grandma go in the toilet as well <laughs> <laughs> it's very much just drunk behaviour I don't think I've ever done that sober yeah. um so yeah, I can understand how you'd might want to make it a bit more fun. I would, did want to say with the lightsaber, are you two not just pissing everywhere when you do that? Lily, you've got all these questions and all these concerns. Yeah. Don't worry about these questions. Concerns. You are, aren't you? You <laughs> filthy, I, filthy if I could, boys. If I could remember, and I was so drunk, if I could remember where it was oh, going. Oh, it's up the walls and stuff. No, 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 no. We're being very controlled. We're being controlled. Bullshit. Oh yeah, it's just going straight in the bowl <laughs> as you're doing your late lightsaber. Look, it fight. takes a skilled pisser to participate in a duel, Lydia. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's no, no chumps. <laughs> it's an honoured tradition. It's, an honored, honored. it's a very honoured tradition, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can't say that I have any <laughs> piss stories myself. Talking about this has reminded me of one of our house parties where we found um, our friend's mum's like hair removal cream and we put it on his eyebrows <laughs> when he went to sleep. <laughs> oh my God. And like, I felt like that, that for me, I was like, that's the worst I've ever felt, but I still think the thing is funny. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I feel like that was a fucked up thing to do. Yeah. And like, it didn't like fully remove his eyebrows. It, it just like, a little patched, bit patched. Patch- I mean, it wouldn't take off. No, like it patchily like removed bits of it. The like light bits, um, yeah. And like, I felt like that was fucked up, pretty bad, but it was funny and recoverable. Yeah. And like, we were like 15. So like, he would just, the only people he was going to was going to school to yeah. see us who all knew what happened. Like, but boys are so fucking weird. I swear <laughs> to God. Like the experiences. Wait, I'm, sorry. Are you saying girls wouldn't do that? Well, I'm, I mean, I can only go off my own like life experiences and, and what I ha- have had mm. happen, but I, from the guys that I've spoken to and the stuff they tell me the stories mm-hmm. you guys and, and w- what yeah. you got up to as teenagers and stuff mm-hmm. it's fucking night and day <laughs> I've got never a... ever did any weird I've shit like that I've got a weird that, one I want to know if Harry has ever done this so, wait, I, I think it's an interesting point though. so I, I now have a teenage sister yeah. and it's so interesting chatting to her because you are right it is very night and day but I feel like mm-hmm. I would rather live the boys with any day because no. there's fucked up weird shit happening all the time for sure but the girls drama like the girls problems during that period she feels like they're so yeah. extreme okay, like the yeah. cattiness of infighting yeah, is like that's I'm true. like yeah. I couldn't survive in the that I could survive in the, the like yeah. you know I might get my eyebrow shaved off yeah. while I'm at a sleepover yeah, right. yeah. versus like shit. my entire friendship group like destroys itself in yeah. two seconds like mm-hmm. that's, which that's one would fair. I rather like yeah, that, yeah. boys that are homies forever are I'll probably going to like piss in my eyebrow. mouth or <laughs> like <laughs> or like uh, I don't know if these people are going to be friends with me in a year like yeah, I would take the 
I'll piss in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. There's it's definitely mm. downsides to both. There of are those. downsides to both. Yeah. yeah. Hi, have you ever have you ever done a pissy walk? A pissy walk. A pissy walk. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. It was like four in the morning. I was really drunk. I've spoken yeah. to other guys who have done this. It was like dark nose, but I was yeah, walking yeah. home. I really need to pee. I uh, just like I need to do a pissy walk. So just whipped it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> oh, I have. I have. This r- is true. This is very based. I walked back. Every man listening to this podcast uh-huh. who's ever drunk alcohol mm-hms. would have done a pissy yeah. walk at some point. I, why I didn't I walk, you just I walked stop? backwards so it didn't fucking because I wanted to get home. I, no, I've not tried so the backward tech. Did you not I, just I, stop? I, I was like, I started doing it forward and I'm like, this is going to go fucking everywhere. So I, <laughs> I did backwards tech. I walk it backwards. Backwards <laughs> tech is the moon walk. Just, the moon just, <laughs> Moonwalk that man is powered by piss. Yeah. He's jet propulsion <laughs> by piss. I was just, uh, I could have just stopped. Yeah, but I was just like, I don't want to keep moving just in case anyone comes out. Yeah, yeah, you like, got to keep it on the slide. Yeah. So I did, I did a little like oh. piss moonwalk. <laughs> but why can't you just stop? I could have just stopped. Because it's, then it's like, like fucking five minutes. Of, you could yeah. be walking home. Five uh-huh. minutes. How long are you pissing for? Yeah. Yeah. That's why booze has been, been, been drunk. Yeah. yeah, I was like very drunk. It was like four. I haven't done that since I was a kid. But yeah, I was like, I was like. 19 or something yeah like yeah I did this. Men, look men are gross you're pissing mm. all over the street mm-hmm. that i'm walking down and my piss is on the, you your, fucking, my piss wait your piss is on my licking the, the street? soles mm-hmm. of my shoes mm-hmm. yes are covered your in your pissy pisses yeah you're vile and disgusting mm-hmm. and may well, god have mercy everywhere. on your soul they're, they're fucking like trees or alleyways i've pissed in it's yeah crazy. what's your favorite place to piss rouse like that's not a toilet <sighs> Um, that's not a toy <laughs> I like I like a nice like forest tree piss a tree is great but the trouble yeah. is the bark splash is, it's the randomized bark splash splashing is random it's like hard mode okay. it yeah. is hard mode pissing yeah yeah, yeah. I, I think like pissing, splash back. pissing just into like a big like bush mm-hmm. is pretty good right. yeah that's nice because okay. like you get like fun noises and shit yeah yeah, yeah. Right. it's Quite kind of ASMR. playing like marbles yeah it's like yeah. it's like marbles exactly yeah alleyway I don't like it so I'm like I'm gonna get stabbed alleyway is sketch also you're like it stinks like it's scary anyone could come down also you see people walking by and you're like huh yeah, 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 don't yeah. take my dick uh, my dick's out <laughs> give me your dick give me your dick <laughs> take my dick you take my piss dick mm-hmm. uh, no I think like a nature piss is like nature very, piss is very a nature it's piss. crazy it's a crazy yeah, it piss goes, it goes nuts it's funny because mm-hmm. a nature piss for my experience is the worst fucking <laughs> piss you can do when you are out on a walk I always get so jealous of, of guys being able to just fucking whip it out pissy and do walk. it wherever <laughs> I mean not just yeah, down the pavement pissy walk I, but yeah. if you're like on a countryside walk or whatever and you're suddenly like oh my god these pee so badly and there is not a night toilet to be seen for yeah, miles yeah. to go if you want to pee say you're wearing jeans okay not only do I have to find somewhere I've got to pull everything down so my whole fucking yeah, uterus yeah. is out for the world to see <laughs> <laughs> and then balance somehow yeah, yeah, yeah. without falling over and fucking, you know, getting a tree inside you and pee and but make sure it doesn't run down your legs yeah. all whilst being terrified that a stranger is going to walk past you. Yeah, You've got yeah. fucking fanny out for the world Have to see. Have you ever tried a shiwi? Never. I know. I maybe a game changer. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know anybody who has, but maybe you have to try it. It's whether one of those weird things everyone knows about, but no one's ever seemed to have tried. But, mm. And that makes you worried that they're not very good. I yeah. I wonder if there's uh, if they can like leak and run down your legs, like splash it back. Splash, or whatever, yeah. yeah, like it when you mechanically it sounds mechanically like a it's amazing. It sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you're wearing a skirt or dress in public in the woods wherever the fuck you're doing this nature pee it is easier but the one of the main problems is even if you can get the squat right yep. if you're not giving enough gusto that pee is just going down your legs yep. it is just running down your legs pulling in your socks oh. and in your shoes oh my you, God. You, if you don't do it with force that's depressing yeah that nature is, wees yeah. fucking suck as a woman <laughs> Lydia just like struggling to piss <laughs> next to this bush Literally. me and, Ra- and Rush just like writing on it yeah <laughs> 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 fucking Dude, <laughs> I, have, I have done a few draw, pest drawings yeah, yeah, in my yeah. time. And, and the whole time you're terrified of random persons going to yeah, walk yeah. past I mean, you. I mean, yeah. I'm a little bit scared of that as well, but it's so yeah. small that, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, they're not going to be able to see it. Is that man <laughs> trying to fight, <laughs> fight a small maggot in his trousers? <laughs> May I help you there, sir? You look so like you're What's that worm trouble? doing? <laughs> Get that worm out of your crotch. <laughs> um... <sighs> Yeah, yeah. I, it's interesting, Pissing. isn't it? I mean, I don't know if we can help this person. It sounds like they just... I forgot about this question, to be honest. Don't just... be in that club anymore. It sounds fucked. Uh, what I don't yeah. get, going back to this whole... Mm. I, w- one thing that I hate the thought of is... Uh, they, they do say about these horrible, humiliating, appalling initiations, mm. right? I, I cannot f- fathom that no. culture. I yeah. think it is awful. Awful. Like I would just rather not be in the club. Oh my god! Yeah, me yeah. too. Not, like not my cup of tea. The stuff they have to do to be allowed in, and even the, like are always humiliating. Like weird. It's like super. Um, oh, I just find it so like old school. It's so yeah. old fashioned. It's so yeah. dated. It's such like a 
masochistic macho we have to fucking break your bones to make yeah. you make your work boy like people I, literally die yeah like yeah, doing yeah. it's also so fucked as well like david cameron sticking his dick in a pig's mouth like what the that's fuck crazy is that, that is about? like some fucked up oh. shit yeah yeah bad dragon anyway they're our sponsor <laughs> yeah. this week um, no they're not they're not really not really not i only had one that was like when i used to go to scouts as a kid and i just thought you were gonna be like i know I had to put my dick in a squirrel no 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 I was in like a, I've only done it once. I was in, like, <laughs> in that squirrel seat. I was in like uh, scouts as a kid, and they just like got these like big like the, you know like big mattress type things like that you would like do acrobatic shit on. Yeah, yeah. Like, they were just they did they got everyone to just ram that into you. I was like, what the fuck? Is, like, <laughs> what okay. the fuck is that? They just like charged at me with both holding big massive like mattress things that just hit me. I'm they like, just squished cool, you. Cool. I guess that was a thing, right? Like, what the fuck? What? Was this? How old are you when that happened? I must have been like like nine <laughs> what the fuck? i know i was so like strange. i was like what the fuck is this so shit? Weird. So weird. yeah yeah like i guess i guess this one the 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 question it's it isn't like they don't have to do humiliating or dangerous stuff mm. they just have a weird piss thing i, I, I can imagine you fucking guys doing a weird piss thing if you i mean you literally do do a weird piss thing mm -hmm. but if you had a little like fun, club very judgmental yeah. lydia well yeah. i call we them like i see boys, them. just boys being boys just boys being boys just you know boys yeah. boys in out yeah. <laughs> boys will be boys um but i think if you had a club you'd probably have some weird piss thing that you I don't, did we, but we are basically a club and we don't yeah. really yeah, do many we don't weird do any fucking... weird pissy things no you've you've done some lightsabers and me and tom like to surprise bump into each other that's it and that's it yeah we're not looking at each other's decks be like piss on me yeah you know well, piss in my mouth and i'll spit it back <laughs> yeah. we'll make a fountain yeah. Yeah. i'll be let me be a fountain oh. <laughs> fountain me oh my god that's a whole other yeah, subcategory I, 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 just, I, don't know. I think there's something about you know it's it's university people it's away from home mm. it's in a city that you don't mm -hmm. you know it, you may like, but it's it's not yours. You don't respect it. Like you, don't, you know. Yeah. Now, now I love Bristol, and I mm. feel like I could never, I could never treat Bristol like I love my hometown. Do you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like, and so I feel like there's that respect and love for an area. Yeah. Exactly. That, like, I'm like, why would I piss in the street in Bristol? I wouldn't like, do I, a, love I wouldn't do a pissy walk in Bristol. No, no, no. I would not. Was it in Scotland? You did. I that? did it in Scotland. It was well, a Scottish that's all right pissy then. Walk. Why yeah, didn't I mean, you say that? Jesus helping. Christ, <laughs> Brad, this help, helps to clarify. Um, I also think that there's there's the word "toff" in there that's maybe doing. Yeah. That's why I'm like, maybe some prejudice for me. Don't but get I'm like in doing this. A lot of, it's yeah. I guess the Tory boat wankers is what they're described as. Yeah. So yeah, yeah immediately it's like, are oh, these guys a bunch of dickheads? Yeah. Um, I do. They they say that uh, have they become uh, desensitized? Is this really weird? It is quite weird. Yeah. It's Everyone. Quite weird, but I would say it's tied not together. That it's not that abnormal for university, is it? No, not for like 18, 19 year olds at not university right. who are part of a club. It is still weird though. Everyone like tied together pissing in a fridge is strange yeah. and they should don't no, don't do that anymore. No. 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 Um, Please. And I'm glad that you've identified it's weird and yeah. are not participating. Yeah. And I'm glad you told us. Thank you. Thank you for Thank sharing. You. Thank you for sharing your little pissy story. <laughs> Hello. Love the podcast. Here is my issue. I'm now 24 and last week I got into a spot of bother. I was walking off the main street of my local town last Saturday and diverted down an alley to get through some bars. I was stopped by two gentlemen who were built like streaks of piss requesting that I give over my wallet and phone. Um, they could not have been taller than five foot seven so I very politely told them to fuck off. I'm six foot one and a smudge over 17 stone so I thought I was a bit of a, a tad. 17 of a stone is six one. Wow, my God, big boy. I am six foot one and a smudge over 17 stone, so I thought I was a tad of an odd target. So that, the wording of that fucking yeah, yeah, ruined yeah. me. The shorter one reached back for something that he had tucked into the back of his trousers, presumably a knife, so I hit him. Uh, I have a new appreciation for weight classes in boxing as I connected with this man so harshly that the loose change flew out of his pockets and he fell to the floor unconscious. Oh the God. other lad sort of just stood there dancing in and out before deciding balls to it and ran off. I reported it to a police officer who was nearby one of the bars who swiftly left to investigate. I was rather bothered by this whole situation as I'm not a violent person and also split my knuckle on my right hand. Um, I've been feeling guilty about this all week and just need an event, so thank you for listening as I don't wow. want my mum to catch wind of it due to the fact that she's easily stressed, so haven't mentioned it to anyone. Oh. Would you feel bad? Love the content, guys. Keep it up. Thank you. Oh, my God. Um, 
Also, what a coincidence that we went from pissing in an alley question to in an alley Danger with people in an alley. Danger shaped in an alley. like piss or yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's built like piss. Yeah, that's yeah. Very well linked. Mm-hmm. Great um, segue that we meant to do. Mm-hmm. Very planned. Yeah, On very this planned. highly very, produced podcast. Very planned. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, wow. What a, what a story. What a hero, I would say. Wow. You know, violence is never the option, but to protect yourself... Yeah, I if think, that man was I mean, reaching they, for a knife, you could have been stabbed. I... I understand why they feel guilt. They feel guilt because they're a good person. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, uh, what you know, I, I think you have to make the calculation right. Uh, how in danger are you? Because lo- losing your possessions and getting harmed, it's it's yeah. always worth just losing your possessions. Mm. Don't don't mm. put yourself in. You, know, you could potentially get stabbed in an artery and just fucking bleed out. And die. Yeah, exactly. It's not worth yeah. losing. Not worth trying to save your iPhone or your wallet. Yeah, exactly. To, Those to, things are replaceable. Like your life in some ways, yeah. it's silly decision making. Sounds like it worked out. I don't yeah. feel like we could ever recommend. No. Go and fucking punch every no. fucking weird scumbag of a knife. I yeah. uh, I always and I'm not. This is no disrespect to the the, the person who posted in because I absolutely understand. Well, I don't understand because I haven't been through what you, you've yeah. been through specifically. But you know, I understand why you did what you did. But I I always say to like um, the the men in my lives, um, please. Don't ever try and be a hero, ever. Yeah. Like, you know, if you are ever, ever mugged or attacked and they want your phone or your wallet or whatever, just give it to them. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, it's just stuff that can be replaced. Yeah. But you have no idea what they, if they have a knife, mm-hmm. if they have some kind of weapon, if they are completely unstable mm-hmm. and fucking just kill you. Like, you do they read stories. Be a it could be like a fucking yeah, yeah, It could yeah, be yeah, a yeah. bunch of them. Like, mm-hmm. you read stories about people standing up to themselves and then getting stabbed, like you said, and an yeah, artery yeah, getting yeah, hit yeah. and dying. Like, a phone is replaceable. It's not worth But your it. life yeah. isn't. I always say, like, you know, to my partner, like, never, ever, 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 ever just, like, try and stand up. Just give them it. And I don't yeah, care how, yeah. like... Pussy or, run or away. whatever. Like, or run, run, running, run running away, I think, whatever. is a fair option. Like running yeah. away before giving it to them. If you're mm-hmm. truly trapped, then yes, give it over to them. Yeah. But like if you just confrontation in the street, run. Yeah. But run what if they're faster the than you though? And I mean, they've got a sure, knife. Run, but you know, it depends what time of night it is. Yeah. It sounds this... like he's like, you know, I imagine it's like nine or ten or something. This yeah. is an alley. If you can get late. to a main street where people are at, yeah, then yeah. like they're not gonna follow you. Yeah. Yeah. I also think it's super dangerous, you know. Like it sounds like he fucking thumped that guy. Oh my god! And if yeah. you thump that guy and he lands badly, oh my god, he, he could, could die. die. He can just yeah. stay up die. I know it's, it's, yeah. it sounds stupid, mm-hmm. but falling on your head, you can just fucking die. It's and not a high a- impact. He- like, I can fucking. Like, you have to be really fucking. This guy careful. sounds scrawny that he punched. Like it sounds like he, yeah, you could yeah. fucking kill him with that punch. And then you're going to prison for manslaughter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, you've yeah, killed yeah. someone. Yeah. Like I've read so many stories about people on nights out getting into a fight and and going down for manslaughter because yeah, they yeah. punch someone and the person. So landed you have to be head. so careful. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. I think there's also this is why this whole thing always worries me. Not this, but the mm. whole concept of this is because. I, I've, ha- I've been with partners before who have been like this, where there's almost this sense of like alpha pride. Mm-hmm. Like my brother is quite like this. Like he has lots of pride. Yeah, and yeah. it's not even about the wallet. It's mm-hmm. not about the phone. It's like the pride of like... They didn't get one on from me. Yeah, like, you know, I'm not just going to let this guy... Myself. I'm an alpha guy. Like I'm not going to... And I hate that. I yeah. hate that so much. Like I, I hate that... A lot of guys will feel like that. Yeah. Like it's like some detriment to them as a person. When it's yeah, not right. at no. all. No, not at all. No, my view is I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I, I don't want to die. Whatever I path I could choose no. that provides I live the longest like, mm-hmm. and yes. don't get stabbed or fucking bonked in the head and yeah. die. Sign me up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I want to avoid as much violence. I, or, I, I don't want to be punched, stabbed. I don't want to yeah, break yeah. anything. Don't hit me. I don't want it. I, I, any conflict I can avoid in that way like, yeah 100% yeah. Which, mm-hmm. yeah. so I, I, that also being said I can imagine being in that situation where you're feeling threatened yeah but you feel like you can confidently handle it mm-hmm. yeah it's hard to, I don't think you could, we could ever say you did the right thing mm. but I don't think he should feel guilty about it no there's, no, a, there's, a, different, there's a line you defended in there. yourself yeah. that guy was pulling a knife out and you in an instant well you don't, you don't know but he could have 
Yeah. yeah. You you split instant decision. Like mm. you were in a ho- horrible situation. Yeah. Like this person hasn't done the wrong but also thing it's a, it's a really traumatic situation. God, it's terrifying. Because you suddenly feel unsafe when you're walking everywhere. Yeah. You're suddenly worried that you're going to have the repercussions for it. Do they like, have mates? Or yeah, I, like, yeah. I, I really feel bad for them. Like it's, it's, it's a shitty situation. Yeah. But um, he definitely shouldn't feel bad. This person he shouldn't feel bad for what attacked he did at all. you. Yeah, you yeah. were defending yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like you, you didn't do a a bad thing. Yeah, if you like, just fucking yeah. wobble at some guy in the middle of a pub, then yeah, then that's fucking awful. You're a fucking cunt. To yeah. defend yourself or defend someone who's yeah. in. I mean, the fact that the policeman or... didn't instantly arrest you yeah. is like proof that yeah. you were the, like you did mm. not do something wrong. Yeah, and you went and you like, you told the policeman like I just punched this guy. He which, was trying to mug which me. Which also is yeah. a great thing to do because yeah. if that guy was injured, mm-hmm. you know, severely from yeah. your yeah, punch. Yeah. Someone who can go and help, but it also going to go and yeah, it find also it. shows yeah. that you're like showing like kind of remorse for it. You're like, I just did this. Can you yeah, go yeah. help this person or catch them so they don't hurt anyone else and stuff like that? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I also think yeah. those experiences are actually really rare. Like, yeah. you you read about them and you hear about them all the time yeah. because they do happen. Mm. Yeah, but statistically, you're probably unlikely to ever encounter that again in your life. No, like, no. unless we, you live in a very, 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 very violent area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if it's mm-hmm. yeah. or in wherever you're from, Depending like where. it's probably that's probably your one and done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Depending on where you live. You guys ever had a weird, dangerous experience like that? I got jumped once when yeah. I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And they what like, happened? They just like put me in a headlock and punched my face loads. Yeah. Oh and my then God, I, like, that's got horrible. got out and ran away. Yeah, that was, and that was pretty horrible. Like that made me like Just random, random people? Yeah, yeah. Just, well, what what, just for fun? Yeah, yeah. That's horrible. It's horrible. It is, How old were you? Yeah. Like, actually, I was like 18, 19. Aww. That makes mm. me so sad. That's horrible. It, it sucks. Like I've, for ages, I felt super scared yeah. walking yeah. around. Mm-hmm. You um, would do. It's tra- like traumatic. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. But I'm really glad that like I didn't. Yeah. Like I was just like, they weren't they they weren't like after my phone or anything. They just no. wanted to beat someone up. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, which is sketchy and it's scary. It's scary as yeah. fuck. But it, just, yeah. it makes me way more conscious. Like after that experience, you're just like mm-hmm. way more aware of yeah. what's going on. Like not scared, just way more aware. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's not fun. Being in yeah. fights is not fun. I've seen some people get jumped, and like, I've one of them was like the police showed up so fast. Yeah, it was like almost felt like this was like a scene out of a fucking thing. It was like it happened, and then like snap, a police car came around the corner. It was like that's really. It almost good. felt like it was set up. What? You know what I mean, it felt so. Did they weird. like? Pro- oh, they, wait a minute. They, it's they a got, sting operation. Uh, they may. They may have. Maybe, if they've like seen a big a group of lads that they think are going to mm. beat somebody up. They may that have may, like that may undercover have put someone in yeah. there to egg them over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just get them done. Yeah, could have been something like that. But Good yeah, it's fucking so mad. Just living, it's weird. I, I will say I got jumped not in Bristol, mm. in like my town. Mm-hmm. I feel way safer in Bristol. Yeah. Oh yeah, I feel like, super street safe. lights yeah. are everywhere. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the, there's sure police are slow, but there's police, mm-hmm. police everywhere. There's bouncers everywhere. Yeah, it's actually, I find it way less intimidating being in a city. Well, it feels like yeah. the threat level is raised in some way. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, you know, but more, more crime, but more crime. But actually, there's more people. Yeah. Which in some ways, I feel like it's a lot safer. Exactly. Um, so I feel like you know also thinking about which ways you walk home and yeah. stuff like that yeah. exactly it's a place that I think a lot of mm. girls probably think about way more mm-hmm. constantly of oh my where God. you walk how are you walking what if are, it's dark outside are you get a fucking you Uber get a fucking I Uber I always yeah. just get an Uber yeah. I don't go for like yeah. outside walking if mm-hmm. it's dark like, but in some ways that also don't go in parks it's also really sad because it limits your scope of life right you know, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You're, you're financially burdened with it and also you feel less like you can access the rest of the world for sucks. sure it sucks like you uh, you can't just like say after a, a few drinks walk home like yeah, never in a million yeah. fucking years like I was uh, if I want to I like to like going for walks most days but mm-hmm. now because it's winter it gets dark at four yeah. so I always have to go I have to see when the sun is going to set and mm-hmm. then work out the latest I can go for a walk because I don't like going for walks at, out at night yeah. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. just always conscious about stuff like that mm-hmm. um, yeah it fucking it fucking sucks but it's yeah. better to be aware and exactly. careful than yeah. you know any other situation I, oh. I have such a weird story. Like I was at a house party once and like I had just walked into the hallway so I could mm. see the door mm. and a lad came in with a knife and he was like, nobody oh fucking, fucking move. God. Like I'm I'm looking for this boy. Is he in here? What? Like, and I was like frozen in the fucking hallway. I was like, all right. And so walked, you were right close to him? Yeah, yeah. He's like walking by me. He's like going into the living room that I've just came out of. So I'm like, thank fuck I wasn't like sat in the living room. Uh, nothing happened, but like... He walked in with a knife. He said, nobody fucking move. I'm looking for this boy. Like He had he had a big fucking kitchen knife out. I was like, oh, what the oh fuck? fucking God. As soon as he went in the living room, I was like, bam. Out, See ya. Out, do you know, do you know, did you know the guy? I didn't know the guy, no. I, I, I barely knew the people at this party. Oh, my so God. So I was just like, I knew, I'm like getting out I knew like one or two people at the party. And I was just like, 
Nope. Fuck this shit. I ran. Out. I would have left everything. Like fuck that. I'm yeah. so yeah. Thankfully, I had everything on me. I yeah. just fucking zoomed out the door, went down. Uh, I lived kind of nearby, so I sprinted to my place and yeah. I just sat, looked out the window, and fucking police showed up so <gasps> fast. They must have been like, tracking this yeah. guy. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, that's terrifying. It was fucking a little, terrifying. A little bit does. I do feel yeah. like I feel like it's gotten worse. Like I do worry about like. Kids nowadays are like more carrying mm. knives. They're more, like it's more. Yeah, knife crime is horrible in the UK. Like it's really yeah. fucking horrible. Mm. Like I, I feel like it was kind of sketchy when we were kids, but now it's like it. Fe- it, it my perception of it, no, with no stats. Yeah. It, it feels like it's more extreme. I guess because it's just such an easily accessible weapon, right? Everyone's got yeah. kitchen knives. Mm-hmm. You can Amazon like, order them. Yeah, 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 like you could just go to the fucking Wilco's and buy a, yeah. a sharp knife. Like, like anyone can get hold of a knife. I, I, you know, they're cool and all, but I've never carried one ever. I've like, never you know. carried. They're badass. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never, never carried a knife in my life. I've, I've, yeah. the, well, I've, got, was, I've, got, I've got a Swiss Army knife at home, but that's like oh, a you're not going to really be able to do no, that. I, like, like the odds yeah. of you, if you're, is it? If you're carrying a knife, you're going to get the knife used on you most likely. Oh, is that? Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, end up, yeah. you end up being stabbed by your own knife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So don't Personal do it. Just grab it off. Exactly. Do not carry weapons. No. Yeah. No. Oh my god. No. Like I know people are like, yeah, I got this thing on my kid. Don't. Don't yeah, do yeah. it. Like it's it's it is not a good idea. You mm-hmm. will end up having it used on you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. If someone fucking punches you and they see you've got that shit, they're like, okay, yeah, get them great. before they get me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, technically, you've then escalated the situation. Yeah. yeah. And also, like, pressure is illegal. It is, yeah. Oh, it wait. Also illegal. Very yeah. importantly, it's very illegal. illegal to well, carry a knife carry, around. There, with there you. are short. You can carry very very short blades with you mm-hmm. and it's not illegal mm-hmm. but yes it is mostly illegal to carry weapons with you mm-hmm. which don't, as don't. it should be don't, <laughs> yeah. don't do that mm-hmm. definitely don't do that is it is it's scary though like it is like a thing mm. a thing that exists that is yeah. not not fun yeah um so I, I i think the person did in a really hard situation not the wrong thing no i don't think i don't think i can say they did the right thing no but it's not wrong it's not right it's no. just is but i think is, yeah. i don't think they should feel any guilt about it and and thank God you're safe. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Importantly, that you know, and I just hope that you Next are time okay. Next like run or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or oh, it's hard to say don't walk down alleys because like, how do yeah. you limit your life yeah, like that? Exactly. Sometimes you Sucks. have to. Yeah. Or to go the long way around. Go the long way around. Go the long way around. Long way around. It's yeah. always worth being safer. Yep. Don't pissy walk down Don't there. pissy walk. Wow, from pissy walking oh, to fucking serious. To knife crime. But <laughs> would you try and mug someone who's pissy walking? No, uh, you know what I mean. That's quite a good kind of strat, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, what if you just stop pissing on them? Exactly. They would and, run. Well, it's some you know some people. We're not, we're not saying that's what you should do. <laughs> Zero yeah. degrees technique. Just piss. Yeah. Just piss. Yeah. Just piss. Right just now. Piss on mm-hmm. them. Just do it. You could just do some weird shit to freak them out as well. Just start getting crazy with it. Just Goobity like, gabra. Start getting crazy. Mm-hmm. He's Italian. Yeah. Run. <laughs> 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 sake. Yeah. Um, thank you as always to our wonderful patrons mm-hmm. I think thank I you. think both of those were patron questions I forgot to mark them down the sheet correctly yeah. but we're getting lots of lovely uh, lovely questions from our patrons so keep mm-hmm. them coming and if you have questions as well keep sending them in mm-hmm. we've getting a lot in. more recently thank we you we love lovely much. stories yeah. and fun mm-hmm. ones so yeah, hell yeah coming. yeah t- uh, from pessy to heavy <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> but yeah. felt linked it felt yeah, like it was a strange way tenuous link piss no it was a good one I hope you would enjoy it and we will see you next time. Thank you so Ooh. much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.